What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we are working on my 89 Toyota pickup. Now earlier this year, I did an engine swap in this pickup. I put in a 1UZ from a 1992 Lexus LS400. And with that, I had to put in this massive radiator. As you can see, it actually hangs down past the bottom cross member on the pickup. And off-roading, I just can't have that. So the plan today is to make up some sort of skid plate to cover that and the oil filter right behind it. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. Now the plan to make this skid plate happen is actually pretty straightforward. I've acquired this guy, which is actually a stock skid plate for some sort of Chevy, I believe. So it won't fit as is, but I got to trim it down and modify it a bit and I should be able to make this guy work. And there is the first couple of cuts marked. So I'm gonna cut these down and then I'm probably gonna cut this ridge out of here. And then the mounting holes will be up here where it actually goes through the bottom of my bumper mount. Let's uh, get her cutting and start mocking things up. And there you have the basic idea for the skid plate. So I did end up cutting a slice in this, not going all the way through so that I could bend it down and around the radiator here and try to make this a bit more flush. Next up, I got to cut off this last flange here all the way across just because it dips down and kind of looks funny and it's totally not necessary. Just this was enough to protect what I wanted to protect here. So uh, yeah, I'll pull it off, cut this off, make the corners rounded and nice and pretty looking and probably paint this thing up before I throw it back in. And uh, here's the final product. I rounded the edges, kind of beveled, everything around the outside and cleaned it up for paint but first let's go throw this on the truck and make sure that i like how it looks before i finalize it with uh yeah with paint I almost don't want to paint it and leave the aluminum look. I've decided I'm going to paint it.
And uh, there it is. It actually turned out awesome. I am glad that I painted this. It blends in well with the rest of the front of the truck. And yeah, it doesn't have that stupid big radiator hanging down the bottom. Now the one major problem with the skid plate, and I'm sure some of you will point this out, it isn't actually mounted on the back anywhere. It's just mounted through these front holes. And to be honest, I think this is good enough for most things. Really, it's to protect from like running over sticks or rocks and having them fling up off the tire and smashing the bottom of the radiator. And I mean, I can still come down on a fairly decent rock and yeah, it'll push this skid plate up into the radiator, but I think the radiator itself should be all right. Anyways, guys, that about wraps up this week's episode of Dirt Garage. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys do me a huge favor and smash that like button, that would be great, and consider subscribing. I upload weekly Toyota building, wheeling, and off-roading content. Anyways, guys, I'll see you I'm next week. A couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say I'm